I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and today I'm going to show you how to install a Tusk Stage 1 UTV upgrade kit on your Polaris Razor Pro XP4. It's going to be the same process for the Turbo R4 as well. And the Stage 1 kit comes with your essential upgrade. So that's going to be your removable half windshield, the alloy UTV mirror kit with A pillar mounts, and your cargo barricade. Now, all of this stuff is straightforward to install, so let's go ahead and get started. For the cargo barricade, we need to install the edge trim on it. So with this, you're just going to center it up. And also, if it fits loose at any point, you can pinch it together for a tighter fit. So I'm just going to go ahead and press that on. To start out, we're going to install the cargo barricade. So what we need to do is remove these four bolts from the back of the cargo box. You're going to need a T40 Torx bit to do that. Now there's two longer bolts that came in your kit. We're gonna use those. You're gonna install a washer onto them. And then we've got a mounting bracket. Make sure this tab with the two holes will be facing up. Then we've got one of the spacers. And we're going into one of these lower mounting holes. I'm just gonna leave that loose enough that we can make some adjustments. And then we'll do the same thing on this other side. Now I'm going to set the cargo barricade in place and I'm going to start with the original bolts we removed in the top corners. We're going to reinstall those through the barricade. After that, we're going to install the four shorter bolts through the barricade, through that bracket, and then you've got that nylock nut on the back side. Then from here, you can make your final adjustments and tighten all of the hardware down. The next step is to install your mirror mounts. So what we need to do is pull up on this rubber boot first and some machines, you're gonna have a speaker wire coming down. If you have that on your machine, you're gonna to need to disconnect that. And then we're gonna remove both A-pillar bolts. So we've got our 15 millimeter socket. We are not reusing this bolt, but we are reusing this nylock nut on the back side. So you can see the cage isn't perfectly aligned and that bolt's kind of binding up. So what I'm gonna do is take an alignment punch. We're gonna move the cage where we need it so we can get that out. So we've got our new bolt that came in the kit. We're going through the mirror mount. The mount itself is gonna be facing up towards the top of the machine. And we're gonna line that up with our cage. But again, we're gonna to have to use that alignment punch I might even have to come in from the other side. And then we're going to thread that into the nylock nut we previously removed. And we'll do the same thing on the bottom. Then we'll use our 8mm Allen socket to tighten those bolts down. Next, we're going to use our supplied drill bit to drill a hole in the rubber boot so it goes over this mount. So we've, we're on the driver's side. We've got the driver's side template. And then you're gonna to wanna to take your time to make sure this is lined up correctly. You just get one shot at this, so you wanna make sure the hole is in the right spot. Now that we have the template in place, we need to drill this hole out. Now, if you want, there's a little indentation in the center of that hole marking, and you can flip that out, use a Sharpie and mark that, but I'm just gonna take the drill bit and go straight through and you just wanna make sure you're careful and that you don't hit your roll cage or damage the wiring if you have wires going to your speaker. So now you can remove the template and then we're just gonna slide this down over the mount. And if it doesn't go very easy, you can use some soapy water on this to help everything slide into place. After that, we're gonna install 
both of our O-rings. These just help dampen vibration for the mirror. And then once you have both of those in their grooves, you want to make sure they have just a little bit of grease on them. And then you can thread your jam nut on. Now for the mirror, you can use a five millimeter Allen to remove this bolt if it's on there tight. You also want to remove the star washer and we're going to thread this onto our mount. We're just going to go as far as we can. So I need to back that off half a turn, align the mirror where you want it. And then you can use a wrench for this, but we're actually going to use a crescent wrench just because this jam nut is powder coated. This is going to be your best option. Okay, so once you have that tightened down, you'll notice the logo is upside down. So you're going to take your 3 16 Allen, loosen up the screw and then Put that logo in the correct orientation and then lock it down. And then we're going to do those same steps on the other side. Now for the half windshield, I have some rubber gloves on. That way I don't get my fingerprints all over it. We're gonna go ahead and remove the protective film from both sides. Now the bend at the top of the half windshield is gonna face out away from the machine. So we're gonna lay that face down right now. And we've got this bulb seal. We're gonna install this. We're gonna center it across the bottom and then press it on. Now, if you need a tighter fit at any point, you can simply pinch this together. Next, we're gonna install both pieces of foam tape on the outsides of the mounting slots right here. Now we can take it over to the machine. Now we can set the half windshield in place. We're gonna center that up and use our Velcro clamps to hold it down. So with the Velcro clamps, just go around the roll cage through that slot. You're gonna go behind the metal bar on the clamp and take the strap back through the slot. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side and then make our final adjustments and tighten them all the way down. And that's it for the Tusk UTV Stage 1 Upgrade Kit for your Polaris Razor Pro XP4 or your Turbo R4. If you have any questions about the install process, leave those down in the comments below. And if you need to snag one of these up, go pick one up on our website. These qualify for free shipping. So go check that out and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.